Music has been in Marin Morris' blood since she was just a kid, but what started out as a beloved hobby has turned into quite the successful career. According to reports, the star's current net worth is said to be between $5 and $8 million. The star's passion for singing prompted her to try out for shows such as American Idol, America's Got Talent and The Voice, but she shockingly never made it onto any of the competitions. However, she used her failure as motivation, and soon moved to Nashville to pursue her dreams. Her first EP debuted in 2015, with her first studio album, Hero, coming out the following year. Morris went on to release two more albums and has racked up plenty of awards, including a Grammy for Best Country Solo Performance. Throughout her career, the crooner has added in elements of pop and Randy B into her tracks, though she's mostly known for her hit country tunes, such as, The Bones. While the mom of one, 33, also earns big bucks from touring, she ensures her performances are giving back to the community, for example, $5 of every ticket sold to her special upcoming show in Chicago will be donated to GLAAD. Advocacy is near and dear to Morris Hart, in fact, she recently declared she was quitting country music due to ongoing drama, such as getting into feuds with those who promote misogyny and racism in their tracks. I thought I'd like to burn it to the ground and start over, she quipped in an interview of the country music genre, which she feels very, very distanced from. But it's burning itself down without my help. Being one of the few women that had any success on country radio, everything you do is looked at under a microscope. You're scrutinized more than your male peers, even when you're doing well, she said. So I've had to clear all of that out of my head this year and just write songs. A lot of the drama within the community, I've chosen to step outside out of it. After the Trump years, people's biases were on full display. They were proud to be misogynistic and racist and homophobic and transphobic, she explained further. All these things were being celebrated, and it was weirdly dovetailing with this hypermasculine branch of country music. If you truly love this type of music and you start to see problems arise, it needs to be criticized, the performer insisted. Anything this popular should be scrutinized if we want to see progress. Perhaps her most heated feud has been with Jason and Brittany Aldean. While Morris appeared to take a dig at his song, Try That in a Small Town, a tune that's been accused of promoting violence and racism, she came after Britney for making transphobic remarks. The public spat led to conservatives like Tucker Carlson calling Morris a lunatic country music person. 